That trolling motor? Oh my god, I, I couldn't have done it in that in that other place. Guys, this reminds me of a scene right out of the Dukes of Hazard. You can't imagine the damage this fish is gonna cause when it hits the bottom of this boat. However, this is not where the day starts, so we're gonna back up to a little earlier in the day. This is Wes, and welcome to Arkansas Extreme Outdoors. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's a crappie. No, it ain't. It's bad. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. You want my chest? We'll keep everything we catch. I ain't scared. I do wish we get up in here and find some. You got him? That's the one you're looking for, wasn't it? <laughs> Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Kentucky? No, he's back. He's a black man. Hold him up for us. <laughs> it's reels. It's really bigger than I need out here. I got a really good deal on it though, so. Well, how you like that? I'm gonna catch that fish right there. Woo, there he is. Keep his head up, boy. <laughs> Keep it down so they don't know. <laughs> I even switched to one of them. Hold him up here so we can see him, Don. Heck yeah. All right. That there, friends, is an undomesticated wild black bass. That's right, that's right. Ooh, that one got some weight to it there. It's funny how you can throw that one. Yeah. He's hung, but I got him. There you go. Oh, that's a good looking fish. That's my only worm and it's gone. Now what? You got a black worm? Ow, ow, ow. I got motor on stuff, but I don't think I got one. I'd have to look. I can't. Yeah, I don't make you catch one more. Oh, you don't have one. That's it. That's all. Look at you go, boss. When you get a chance, let's look at him. Look at that boy. That's one of them old good ones. <laughs> That's one of them non domesticated ones. <laughs> He's up in there, huh? I think I seen them doing that at Monticello where they take them long sticks and reach up in there and shake it in front of them. There he is. That's a grin. Oh, look at this mess. Y'all look at this on this camera. Drum. He's trying to drum up some business. There he is. 
Oh yeah. That makes the pot a little sweeter, friend. While you're getting around this, I'm gonna scoop some water. Trolling motor? Oh my god, I, I couldn't have done it in that in that other place. Gosh almighty. You ever had that happen? Okay. Look at here. Was it on? Yes yeah, on. <laughs> hey! What is it? A car. Gosh! Wet! Yeah. What the? Look at me. <laughs> Donnie laughs at me, but he has no idea that when that big fish hit the bottom of that boat, it sheared the tip off of two of his expensive rods. <laughs> I want y'all to know that Mark Smith is probably one of my best friends, but he's gotten to the age when he falls, you have to check on him before you laugh at him, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Wes from Arkansas Extreme Outdoors. And I wanna tell you, I got all the way down to the White River and uh, man, I was missing a few fishing baits. And I want y'all to look. This isn't just a place to, to stop by and pick up something when you're missing it. This is a destination. This is a place you come to get everything that you need. I want you to check out the, what uh, Web Sporting Good has in stock right here. Man, they don't just have fishing stuff. They have duck hunting, deer hunting, they have fishing poles, they have bait. Man, you name it, they have got it here. Listen guys, if you guys are in the market for a new bow, look behind me. This is the place to be, not just new bows. Man, these guys got almost every kind of broadhead you can think of. Target and a staff ready to help guys tons of hunting clothes you know if you guys are watching this and you plan on coming to arkansas down to the white river refuge to do some hunting whether you are a big buck hunter uh, or whether you are a duck hunter trying to get in on this river guys you need to stop by here and check out everything these guys have it is unreal Check out this selection of boots they have. And waders.
Hey guys, man, put this on your places to go. If you're coming down to the White River, man, this place is in DeWitt. It's called Webb's Sporting Goods, and they have absolutely everything. I can't imagine you coming in here and not finding just exactly what you need. So if you plan on coming down and hunting the White River Refuge, any at all, any kind of hunting, any kind of fishing, guys, stop by here and uh, see Mr. Bobby. Tell him West sent you. Man, we want to see this one on the camera now. Okay. He hit it so close. That's a good fish. Yes. Got a little bit of that white river mud on it. Uh oh. There you go. What is that? If I could buy it, that is a big. You call your fingers now. <laughs> ah, you guys. Was there another one? A little one. Look at here. Dude, look at the side of this fish. Yeah. Oh. We still gonna keep him, ain't we? One good fillet, I think. Can y'all see this, guys? I'll show you the other side of this fish. Look at the inside here. Put him in the boat. Put him in the boat. All right, guy. Here we go. Golly, look at his fins. He's all beat up, isn't he? Guys, these fish around here. They mad about something fighting. Up, Marty. That's what you want there. <laughs> That's a good fish. <laughs> oh, that was a good fish. Are you right there? <laughs> oh, guys, I hope y'all can see that on camera. He hit it as I was pulling it up right there. He's going to let it get in the boat. Is that too little, you think? It's up to you. He ain't very big. Really? Nice. Just like that. Let's see if we can. We had to nudge the feet. Let's see. Yes. Uh oh. That's mine. That's mine, Chis. There he is. There he is. Oh, yeah. Is it a grill? Put your finger in his mouth. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what I call a grinnel, ain't it? Yes. What we got in the half, what we got at the half. Hey, maybe I need to stick with this one for a little bit. He won't feel very big, but. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Mm 
<clears throat> Guys, that is so fun catching these on these buzz baits. Man, that's fun. There he is right there, babe. That's about what we catching. And that's about, look here. Yeah, <laughs> he hit mine right there. I'm watching him. Yeah, with it sitting right there, like it, right there in the water. <laughs> Well, my two-day adventure had ended. I couldn't help but think of how much fun I had had and how much I enjoyed hanging out with Donnie and Mark and Greg. I couldn't help but thinking of the trips to the river as a teenager and hanging out with my buddies. Man, we tore up stuff, we had flats, we got stuck, we forgot boat plugs, we left our tackle boxes. And you know what? Through it all, we each had to learn and develop a skill set to learn how to think on our own and to solve problems as they developed in front of us. You don't see that a whole lot anymore in young men. I, I don't know if it's because the world is just less safe now and a lot of people blame it on cell phones. I don't know. They may have a part to play in. What I do know is how much fun and how much I enjoyed a couple of days of relaxation and fishing with the guys. Thank you, Lord, for godly men who are not ashamed to show their love openly for you. Until I'm back there again, my mind will replay that old buzz bait dancing off those big cypress. This is Wes with Arkansas Extreme Outdoors, and that was today's adventure.